This rack of lithium iron phosphate batteries has been working excellent for me. Uh, but the cabinet was built wrong, wasn't it? I mean, aren't you supposed to have equal length wires running from every battery to one central point? Right now, we have long bus bars running up and down each side. That means the electricity has a short path to the top battery and a long path to the bottom. Isn't that wrong? Well, let's find out. Hi, I'm David, welcome to my channel where I like to DIY renewable energy and energy efficiency projects. This rack of batteries has been working really well for me. It's over 30 kilowatt hours and I have more videos on the cabinet and the batteries and I'll leave links to those in the description below if you wanna see. But I've received several comments where people have asked me, hey, isn't this setup wrong? You're supposed to have equal length wires for the positive and negative running to one central point that way, the electricity flowing in and out through the inverters has an equal length path to each battery. In theory, that would be equal resistance and every battery would then be equally used. But in this case, since this top battery has a shorter distance to the inverters and the bottom battery has a longer distance to travel up through the bus bars to the inverters, doesn't that mean the top battery is gonna be used more heavily and thus wear out faster, and the bottom battery is gonna be used less. Well, let's find out in this video. In order to check this right now, I'm just gonna use my multimeter set on DC amps for the direct current of the battery. We're gonna check every single one of these wires and see what the amps are. If this truly is a problem, we'll see a lot of amps in the top and not very many amps in the bottom. But in my opinion, these giant copper bus bars, they have such a low resistance that I don't think we're gonna see a problem. That's at least what I've told people in the past. We'll see what happens here. So let's uh, switch cameras and we'll go to DC amps and check these. All right, so we're on DC amps and let's go ahead and check the very top one up here. And we have 121 amps. Excellent, we're really blasting those solar panels. 19.37, and 18.5. And just for kicks, let's do it the same on this side. 116, so it's actually dropped slightly. 20, remember the clouds and things moving around outside are gonna slightly vary the amount of sun that we're getting. Excellent. So as we just saw, they are very close to each other. Probably one, maybe one and a half percent difference between them. Now remember, the electricity has to flow through the copper bus bar. Now the copper bus bar is gonna have very, very low resistance. Then it's gotta move through these wires, which are all equal length. And then it's gotta go into the terminals, through the circuit breaker, through the BMS, through all the cells. All of those things are gonna have very small tolerances, but they will vary just slightly. This circuit breaker will have just a minute amount of difference in resistance compared to the next circuit breaker. And all of those tiny little differences add up. And that's what we're really seeing here. It's not so much about this copper bus bar running three feet up and down the tower. So I'm actually pretty happy with the way that they built this. Now another comment that a lot of people have said is they should have insulated these bus bars. Well, maybe. Uh, it wouldn't hurt anything for sure. Uh, but this is under lock and key so that my kids can't reach in there and I can't accidentally drop a tool in when I'm moving around inside the garage. I, I certainly wouldn't want to be wheeling a dolly past here and bump it and hit both at the same time. So personally, I think they built this pretty well. For $500 for the cabinet, it's a pretty good deal. Now, I bought all of this stuff from Signature Solar. It was $1,500 per battery and $500 for the cabinet.
These batteries have been working fabulous for me. Two months straight, 24 seven, they've been doing exactly what they should be doing. Storing all the surplus solar energy during the day and then allowing me to use that energy at night. Uh, it, it's great when a product does what it's advertised to do without giving me any problems. So I, I'm really happy with these and I do have my own money on the line and I'm, I'm glad that I bought them. They're working so much better than my old system. I read through all the comments and I know from reading those that you guys have been very disappointed you didn't get your hands on these and currently Signature Solar is sold out. But I'm pleased to say that there is a big shipment currently on the ocean on its way inbound to the United States and it's going to be available soon. So Signature Solar is going to open up a back ordering process on their website so that you can back order these so that the moment they arrive at their facility in Texas they'll get them shipped out to you. Uh, but the back ordering process, that's gonna be available in just three days on July 1st, 2021. You'll be able to go on their website, Signature Solar. You'll be able to back order these batteries. Uh, so the moment they arrive, you'll get them. Uh, now, unfortunately, because of, I guess there's a, a worldwide chip shortage and a worldwide problem with shipping, the shipping costs have gone up quite a bit. Uh, so Signature Solar had a dilemma. They are adamant that they don't want to increase the price of these batteries from $1499, or let's just say $1500. Uh, they don't want to increase that. So what they've done is two things. They've decreased their profit margin per battery, uh, and also they've decreased the discount code. Now the old code was David Paz. The new code just for these batteries, which you'll be able to do in the back ordering process, the new code is DavidPaz25, and that will get you a fixed $25 off the battery. And that also is how they track the affiliate program. So it lets them know that I sent you, uh, which helps out the channel a little bit. And thank you if you choose to use that code. Now the old code, which is DavidPaz, that's still applicable on things like the inverters. Uh, so you can still use that. But the batteries themselves are gonna be DavidPaz25. So I'm actually uh, happy that Signature Solar uh, did not increase the price of this. Uh, so even if you don't use the code, uh, you're still getting a great value at 1500 bucks for the battery. So thank you everybody so much for watching. If you enjoy the videos, please like, subscribe, comment, and share.